The U.S. government says natural disasters are worsening because of climate change. The National Climate Assessment, compiled by 13 federal agencies, was released Friday. In blunt language, the report warns temperatures in the U.S. could increase by as much as 12 degrees by the end of the century. It cites humans as the cause of more than 90 percent of the current warming. The report says the effects of climate change could have dire economic effects, potentially shrinking the U.S. economy by 10 percent. In just the past three years, more frequent and severe storms, floods and wildfires and droughts have cost more than $400 billion. Here to discuss the extraordinary findings is CBS News climate and weather contributor Jeff Berardelli. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. That 10 percent shrink in the U.S. economy is one of the things that jumped out to me because yeah. it's not just the climate. What's one thing that really stood out to you from this report? Wow, I think it was the bold, emphatic, straightforward language that climate has never changed as fast as it is since humans have been on this earth, that temperatures haven't changed as fast as they are since humans have been on this earth, and that it is emphatically caused by humans and the burning of fossil fuels. There's no debate left in this report on that. But also that we are the captains of this ship, and there is still time to change course and take action, but we have to do so very quickly. And to that point, both yeah. in air quality and ozone depletion, yeah. we know we we can make a difference. We can. So what can we do? Well, that's a big question. There's a lot that we can do. This is the greatest threat that humanity has ever faced. So I have to be clear on that. Uh, and the interesting thing is it's going to force us to either work together or it'll bring our demise. So we're going to have to come together, respect each other, respect the earth this is our sustenance become sustainable or as a species if we don't evolve as fast as the climate environment evolves then we will perish what are the little but we can do that things we can do, though so i think it starts with people like us the little people the grassroots efforts it starts with us just being more respectful of each other and this planet and realizing that our life depends on this it's making the little changes at home that rub off on other people. It's not like if you drive an electric car, you're going to save the world. But if you drive an electric car and you save one or $200 a month on gas, your neighbors will see that. Their neighbors will see that. If everyone starts to be more respectful of the earth, which we depend upon, I think that that makes its way up the food chain to businesses and to our government. And we have to hold our leaders accountable. So don't do business with companies that aren't good stewards of this world and don't elect leaders that aren't good stewards of this earth. As this report makes clear, Jeff, it's not just about the environment, it's about the economy. I've been hearing this from economists for years. Yeah. The economic effects of this could be catastrophic. We're already seeing that. I mean, huge storms over the past couple of years, $400 billion worth of damage just in the past few years or so. And that's just from extreme storms, which are going to get worse. But as health gets worse because of allergies, because of asthma, because of Zika, because of Lyme disease, mm -hmm. that creates a burden on our economy. As we start to heat up and dry out parts of the uh, Americas, and uh, especially places like the Midwest, the Deep Southwest farmland, that will cause more damage to crops, and we won't see as much productivity. It's all a snowball effect. It's all connected. This conversation will continue. Jeff, we, we appreciate you being here.